guys and welcome to your May 2020 general reading. This could resonate if you have Aries as your sun and moon rising as well as Venus. You guys can always check um, those planets or those signs for additional messages if you do have like a different moon sign or something like that. Always look into um, those sign readings to get you some additional messages. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Do like, share, comment, subscribe, and to all of our returning Aries. Gang, gang is love. All right, Aries, so we're moving out of y'all birthday season. How are you guys feeling? Oh, this is in the wrong deck. So I hope you guys are feeling really good. I hope you guys had an amazing, amazing birthday. Um, we're going to start off with a message from our Power of Love activation and see what you guys may need to... Um, Ooh, trust came out. Let's see what you guys are getting into for the um, month of May. Friendliness at the bottom of the deck. This just came out in Sagittarius' reading. So you guys could be connected to a Saggy. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But during the month of May, starting off, what you guys are going to need to open your heart up to is trust, okay? All right, so I love this really pure energy. You see all the white and white, blue, really light light energy. This says you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. All right. So this is definitely telling you guys, um, during this month of May, going into the month of May, you guys are really going to need to trust yourself. Okay. Trust your intuition. All right. So this is telling you for one, spirit is going to be guiding you guys, giving you guys a lot of information, a lot of insight, a lot of guidance through your intuition. So you guys are going to need to really be balanced and make sure you're in a good space of receiving because this is going to be like you like your token. This is going to help you maneuver through the month of May with ease. So definitely pay attention to your intuition. Definitely pay attention to the little nudges that you're getting. Pay attention to all the little things that's popping in your mind um, during this time. Okay, so let's see. Emperor energy, bottom of the deck. Some of you guys are dealing with the Aries or a, sorry, not an Aries. Maybe you're dealing with another Aries, but that is the Libra and Taurus energy. It could be the mother, father of your child, but some trust is needed, um, like I said, within you guys. So trust yourself first and foremost. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Um, pay attention to how you feel on the inside. Aries, I know y'all ain't no like, you know, silly, silly kind of people, but pay attention to your feelings. So we got the Queen of Pentacles that came out with the Knight of Cups. Some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But this is saying with this Queen of Pentacles here, you guys um, could either be in a space of where you are starting to really nurture yourself, you know, love yourselves. You guys are definitely looking good financially. The Queen of Pentacles. You see the coin, okay? She has her coin. This is someone who is very, very reliable, very stable, very nurturing. This is a, a mother and energy, but more of us on a stability note. So you guys could be in a space where either you're getting into this energy where you're feeling more open, you're feeling more um, stable in regards to your finances. For others of you with this night of cups on the bottom of the deck i feel like there is someone that you have a connection with you know this could be again a capricorn towards virgo but there's someone here that you trust you know you guys could you don't have to be in a romantic relationship you guys could be friends with this friendliness here but at the same time with this knight of cups this is someone this is telling me that this is someone that you want to like wine and dine this is someone that you have feelings for you have some emotional you have an emotional connection with this person and it doesn't have to be too serious the knight of cups knight of cups is my little charmer so there is either someone in your energy that's like giving you this this loving nurturing stable secure energy or this is you know someone that you have around you whatever the case may be you're really opening up to this person or you're just thinking about you know being a little more romantic um at this time Ooh, three of wands with the four of wands here so for some of you guys some of you guys are in a space to where you um you could be waiting. We have the three of wands with the four of wands. That 
combines and it could be the seven of wands so for some of you guys there is a serious relationship this um four of wands is serious commitment and it doesn't even have to be just serious commitment this is just like leveling up moving forward in life celebrations you know parties and i know we're not doing too much partying right now but this is something that you guys um have coming into your lives some of you guys are at a crossroads where you're you're waiting all right, so a lot of you guys are in a space where you're waiting for something. This is definitely something or someone that you're really passionate about. I see you guys moving forward. Like I said, some of you guys are at a crossroads where you are about to go into a really celebratory period in your life. And I feel like you guys are just, like I said, waiting. Temperance is here. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, but there is a need for healing, balance, and a lot of groundedness. So there is something in your lives that you guys are being divinely guided towards. Whatever this is. If this is romantically, then you have someone around you where it could be really light right now with this friendliness here. It could be something that's not too serious, but at the same time, you see the potential with this person. You're like, damn, this person brings me. They make me feel stable. They have their coins together. This is someone who's very beautiful. This is someone who knows her worth. This is someone who likes, you know, the material world. So they dress nice. They look nice. smell nice. Got her hair done. Someone has like a beautiful face. Um... And they just make you feel grounded. They make you feel balanced. They bring you this this kind of energy. And this is someone or something that you've been divinely guided to. So maybe that's why you guys are needing to trust your intuition. Because I feel like you're getting like the... the your little bubbles going off. Sorry, guys. Um, But I feel like your, your little sensors are going off. And telling you guys like, ooh, this could be the one. But let's... See, if I really love this, um, let me get one more card. One more for my Aries. What else for my Aries? So Y'all are waiting. Y'all got a lot of cards came out. Magician. Yeah, it's something that you've been manifesting. Okay, so it's something that you guys have been manifesting. King of Swords. Who? A decision that you made. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So y'all got some major arcana energy here. This is really good, Aries. This looks like super, super, super good. This looks really, really, really good. Um, what I see here, and I kind of split the cards into two just because so many came out. Sorry, guys. So many cards came out, but I feel like there's like two groups here. This is going to resonate differently with everyone. For some of you guys, you're in a space where there's something that you know you want and you just are waiting for the right time because you know like this is this is moving something again to the next level. So you know it's something here that you do want to move to the next level. You do have an interest in seeing it grow. The Magician here, okay, with the King of Swords. So you guys have made a decision. It's something that you've been manifesting at this point. You, you guys are like, yeah. Wheel of Fortune is here. The time is now. Like, yeah, I'm about to make my move. Um, this is this looks really, really good. This looks really, really good. Like I said, if you guys have someone new that you're you're just now getting in tune with, you're just now connecting with, I feel like you guys are establishing or developing trust. Yeah, the Knight of um, Pentacles is here. So it's something that's been moving slow. Slow as hell. And a lot of y'all, y'all are getting tired of waiting. But trust is here. So this is trust your intuition. And for others of you, if this is something that is new, I feel like your intuition is telling you like, man, this is worth the wait. Or this is something that's, that is going to bring in some stability. So it's worth, you know, you investing. Okay, y'all. Sorry about that. My camera is being really, really weird as well as this lighting. So if y'all see like it's too bright, too dark, I am so sorry. I'm in a new space. I wanted to do something different. I'm trying to multitask here. Um, and I just wanted to try out my new little desk. I really don't like it for my camera. It's noisy as hell, but we're going to make it work. We are going to make this work. Okay, but back to um, you guys. What I'm saying here is like the time is now. There is a decision that you guys have made. You are, you've been manifesting, okay? You have been manifesting something. And at this point, it's like whatever it is, it's coming to fruition. You guys have put your mind in something. You're really focused on it. And like I said, if this is something new, I feel like you just want to really um, invest. There's something that you guys are investing in. Yeah, nine of cups. Okay, this is something that you really, really want. Whether this is someone, something. I feel like it is a person. Um, just because we got the four of wands with the three of wands, y'all are waiting or you have been waiting, but whatever this, the case is, it's like you're in a space now where you've manifested it and it's time for you to actually 
you know, be a little discerning in regards to the next, the next action that you want to take. Okay, so let's see. Go into the Queen of Pentacles for my Aries. Oh my God. Okay. This is just really blowing me. Like, sorry, Aries. Okay, Aries, so we have the Seven of Pentacles here. So with this Queen of Pentacles, whoever this person is, this is someone, like I said, that you definitely feel um, is worth investing in, okay? This is someone that you've been waiting for. I feel like you've been in a situation where you've been given to something, you've been given to someone. And either you or this person, because y'all do have the Page of Wands, someone is like really, really ready. Someone is finally in a space where like they're just waiting. Yeah, y'all got two cards that says waiting, I don't know if some someone is waiting on your finances. Y'all have the star that came out. Some of you guys could be dealing with, with an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. But whatever the case may be, this is wish fulfillment. So I feel like you have been waiting. Like something is here. You, you could have been praying for something. You could have been just waiting for the right timing. This is divine timing. This is also speaking of healing. So there is someone that you have been attached with. Um, I feel like trust could have been an issue or you guys just do have a strong level of trust. Also, you needed to trust your intuition. With this person, whoever this person is, you've been waiting for this person. Like y'all have been working really hard at moving forward, but it was a lot of healing that's needed. So this person, they're they're waiting. Both of you guys are ready to take action, but someone is waiting because someone is still healing. Okay, let's go into the four of wands. Why is the four of wands here for my Aries? Four of wands for my Aries. Why is the four of wands here, Spirit? I just see like things are definitely moving forward. Like I said, whoever this person is, you've been in investing or you've been working with them for a while. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night of the day. So it's something that you guys have been waiting for, but it's like it's taking a long ass time. Knight of Pentacles is here. So for some of you guys, someone is um could be getting a new job promotion, could be, you know, just getting like a new apartment, new place, new home. Something new is coming in. The Nine of Pentacles here, this is someone who knows their worth. So this is, speaks of stability. Y'all got two cards on top of each other for stability. This is stability. This is someone who knows their worth. This is someone who's single. For some of you guys, maybe you're what you've been waiting for someone to come out of a committed relationship, or maybe you've been waiting to go into a committed relationship with someone. Go into the Nine of, Pen the nine of Pentacles. Yeah, the world here. So for some of you guys, it's like you were single or, you know, you could have been just enjoying the single life. And now you're ready to go into a, a serious committed relationship. The three of cups is here. Okay, so I feel like there is some reconciling in um, a situation. Some of you guys are dealing with the Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or um, Scorpio with the world here but it's like someone's world is changing someone is ready to go into a new world someone is ready to step into like serious commitment it's what i'm getting there was some waiting in the past there was some pausing in the past there were some delays in the past but it was just because there was some healing that was needed and as well as the time and the time it wasn't right go into the magician here king of swords the king of swords keeps 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 coming out so I feel like as a collective, everyone is learning to make some better damn decisions, especially in regards to what you're manifesting. So you guys could be waiting on communication for this person or this person could be waiting on communication from you. Someone is trying to manifest forward movement. Justice is here. So this could be um, you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra or Gemini. Libra is here um, heavy. Y'all got two king of swords. So between you and this person, someone has made a decision and they're just waiting on the other person. Justice is here. So it's like the scales are about to about to be balanced. Someone, this could also be karma. Three of pentacles. Yeah, so someone is making the decision that they're ready to work. They're ready to collaborate. They're ready to come together. They're ready to build something. Okay, so yeah, four of um, wands here, 11, 11, soulmate energy. This is marriage, serious commitment, okay? This is taking something to the next level, leveling up. Some of you guys could be seeing 11, 11. Someone is finally deciding, like, they're ready to build and go into something solid. This keeps coming out too, Wheel of Fortune. And y'all have the wheel twice. So this is really, really, really 
really freaking good. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, Judgment Year. Wow. All these major arcanas, Aries. This is really, really big. This is really, 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 really big. What flipped over? Seven of Wands. For some of y'all, y'all have something really, really good coming into you. And with this Seven of Wands, for some of you guys, you're needed to either defend this or maybe you're needed to fight for something. I don't mean physically fight for something, but I mean you just need to stand up to stand up for something. The Queen of Swords is here as well as the King of Swords. So you have a counterpart in um this suite. So at this time, I feel like you and your partner between the two of you guys, you're both in a mental energy. You're ready to move things forward. Both of you guys have been working really hard. With this Queen of Swords here, this could have been somebody that you cut off in the past, or it could have been somebody that um cut you off but whatever the case may be this queen is open like this person has a lot of emotions for you they have a lot of feelings for you it's a lot of love between the two of you guys and there is some truth that's needed that is going to come out but you guys are ready to move things forward okay so i just see like trust your intuition with whatever the case may be because your intuition is guiding you like crazy for some of you guys, you could have been definitely waiting on finances in the past. Like you were trying to get yourselves back stable. You're trying to get yourselves to a certain level of independence. In my area, I know how y'all are. Y'all are independent and shit. Y'all don't like to ask people for nothing. You don't like to be needy of nobody. You like to have your own shit together. But give me messages for my Aries. Wow, this card keeps freaking coming out. This is crazy. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. This has came out in all the readings that I've done today. And the full moon in Taurus is tomorrow, April 22nd. So this is saying that there is something that you guys are wanting to do that in the past it needed a practical plan. But I feel like you went through that process and you were actually getting to like this space where like, okay, um, I need to have more money to do this, or I need to have this level of security in order to do this. Whatever the case may be, you've been working on this because the Knight of Pentacles is here. You have been working towards this. You are good enough. Some of you could be dealing with the Virgo. All right, I guess I'll take these. New Moon in Capricorn, okay? This says your hard work is paying off. Yeah, so like I said, y'all, really, really good. Y'all have the Wheel of Fortune twice. Things are about to go in your favor. Nothing is set in stone. So this is saying you guys are still manifesting with this magician here. You're you're manifesting something, but this is telling you that you still have the ability to kind of shape it or get it to how you want it to be. That's why you guys are needing to trust your intuition as you're, you know, trust your intuition, trust what you're feeling, trust how you're being guided. And then communication is key. So like I said, there is some communication that's needed. Someone has made a decision, but someone else is still wanting to communicate it or waiting for communication from you. And then you and your loved ones are safe. Some of you guys are dealing with the cancer. You could have a moon in cancer, but this is just telling you that, you know, if you're worried about your families, your, your friends, your stability, your whatever the case may be, you and your loved ones are going to be safe. Will of Fortune twice. Y'all good. You good, good, okay? So this is what I have for you, Aries. If you guys did find messages that resonate, do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye, guys.